Estes Park's position in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains makes the Colorado town a paradise for adventurers. Rocky Mountain National Park stands out as the most popular outdoor attraction in the area, but visitors can also take in the scenery from the Estes Park Aerial Tramway or along a trail during one of the best horseback riding tours. If you'd rather spend the day indoors, take a tour of the storied Stanley Hotel or peruse the Estes Park Museum. When it's time to pick up local souvenirs, shop along Elkhorn Avenue and Moraine Avenue. Warm weather visitors should also consider renting a boat at the Lake Estes Marina or scheduling a whitewater rafting trip. Alternatively, consider planning an excursion with Kent Mountain Adventure Center. If you appreciate the wilderness, you'll find something memorable to do in Estes Park. Also get some useful suggestions in the end of this video. And don't forget to check description box, there you can get more Colorado touring related videos. Keep watching by pressing on the subscribe button. Number 1. The Stanley Hotel. If you are a fan of Stephen King, you won't want to miss The Stanley Hotel. The author was inspired to write his iconic novel The Shining after spending a night at the hotel. While the movie version of the book was not filmed in the historic Colorado Hotel, the TV adaption was. The Stanley, which recently celebrated its 100th birthday, is a landmark property in its own right. Listed on the National Register of Historic Places, it sits on a hill overlooking downtown Estes Park. You can spend the night if you choose, but you don't have to be a guest to visit. If you are interested in the supernatural, then sign up for the hotel's night spirit tour. Today the hotel is best seen on a day visit for its historic and cultural relevance. Number 2. Estes Park Aerial Tramway. Open from Memorial Day to Labor Day, the Estes Park Aerial Tramway is another top thing to do in season in town. The tramway has been in operation since 1955 and takes you to the summit of Prospect Mountain. It was designed after the European Free Span Tram model that runs the cable from top to bottom without any towers in between, which gives you unobstructed views and photos not marred by towers. From the mountaintop, you have stunning views of 14,259-foot high Longs Peak and the Continental Divide. There are also a few hiking trails and a cafe located at the summit. Number 3. Rocky Mountain National Park. Rocky Mountain National Park encompasses more than 250,000 acres and boasts 124 named mountain peaks. Subsequently, the massive park draws visitors interested in camping, biking, fishing, and horseback riding, among other outdoor activities. If you're not an outdoorsy type, consider a scenic drive or a picnic to make the most of the outstanding views. Winter activities like cross-country skiing, snowshoeing and sledding keep a flow of travelers visiting the park during the chillier months. The park's wildlife, which includes elk, bighorn sheep and moose, roam the verdant forests and glittering lakes, guaranteeing that every trip to Rocky Mountain National Park will be memorable. One of the park's biggest draws is its collection of approximately 355 miles of trails. Avid hikers recommend the difficult Sky Pond via Glacier Gorge Trail which runs about 10 miles and becomes more rewarding as you climb upward. You can find two more video about Rocky Mountain National Park. Best things to do and best hikes in Rocky Mountain Park. The video links given below in description. Number 4. Lake Estes Marina. Lake Estes, on the main road into downtown Estes Park, offers year-round activities but is especially popular in summer. During the warmer months, you can take paddle boards and kayaks out on the lake. Gear can be rented from the Lake Estes Marina, which even rents out pontoon boats. The lake is also stocked with trout for fishing. If you'd rather enjoy the water from the sideline, the lake is ringed by a 3.75-mile loop trail known as the Lake Estes Trail. You can hike or bike it, and the Continental Divide and other Rocky Mountain views are quite spectacular. You're also likely to see some of the local wild residents, from elk to bighorn sheep and possibly bears. Number 5. Peak to Peak Scenic Byway. Colorado's oldest scenic byway just celebrated its 100th birthday, and the classic drive down the 55-mile Peak to Peak Scenic Byway is still the best around. 
The drive begins in Estes Park and then winds its way to Central City, a Victorian-era mining town. This drive is not only stunning, with views aplenty of towering peaks, but it is also a way to experience the mountain scenery at its best in summer without the crowds you'll encounter driving Trail Ridge Road in Rocky Mountain National Park. There are also a number of worthwhile quirky small towns to pause at along the drive. Number 6. Horseback Riding. Jackson Stables is a part of the Estes Park Center YMCA, which is situated within Rocky Mountains National Park. It's a source for one of Colorado's most fun activities, horseback riding. The stables provide guests with a range of experiences relating to everyone's favorite equestrian activity, with trail rides, tours, adventures, and more awaiting. A mix of different affairs, ranging from hour-long rides to ones lasting entire days, allow you to fully explore all the ecological and natural beauty of the region. From glacial basins to meadows of wildflowers, you'll find lots of ways to unwind and lots of things to witness. Number 7. Whitewater Rafting. During Colorado's warm months, whitewater rafting opportunities abound as the state's rivers swell with snowmelt. Travelers have their choice of rafting companies in nearby Fort Collins, though, only rapid transit rafting is actually located in Estes Park. In addition to a selection of companies, rafting difficulty varies by river and launch point, meaning that whitewater rafting near Estes Park remains exciting regardless of your level of experience. Rapid transit rafting earns excellent reviews from past visitors, and some even go as far as to declare the experience the highlight of their trip to Colorado. Past travelers praised all the employees, from the guides to the bus drivers. Others were also impressed with the scenery, which can occasionally include soaring bald eagles. One recurring tip from recent travelers, pack a change of clothes, as whatever you wear rafting is sure to get soaked. Number 8. Estes Park ATV Rentals. Getting off the road and onto the trail in an ATV is a classic Colorado experience. Estes Park ATV Rentals offers unguided ATV and other vehicle rentals, so you can explore at your own pace and not be hindered by a group, and the views around here are simply stunning. The ATVs come with maps, helmets, and gas and are already parked on the trail, so you don't need to bring anything except your driver's license. You can book a half or a full day rental. Number 9. Estes Park Museum. History enthusiasts of every ilk will find something of interest at this museum. The Estes Park Museum works to catalog the surprising expansive historical records of Estes Park. The museum houses about 30,000 objects, including historic photographs and postcards, as well as furniture, tools and more. The impressive collection also features a real 1909 Model X Stanley steamer runabout, a steam-powered car. Historic structures preserved by the museum include a cabin from 1908 and the National Park Headquarters building, which served as the center of affairs for Rocky Mountain National Park from 1915 to 1923. To start your visit, you'll view a historical video that provides an overview of Estes Park, a highlight for recent visitors. The Estes Park Museum sits just south of downtown Estes Park. The museum is open Wednesday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The museum is free to explore for all visitors. Number 10. Open Air Adventure Park. Open Air Adventure Park is one of the most fun and unique places to visit for an outdoor experience in Estes Park, Colorado. Packed with all sorts of activities, it is an adventure location providing a total of 32 outdoor challenges that range in difficulty for people of most ages. Among the things you'll be able to try at Open Air Adventure Park include crossing moving platforms, tightrope walking, traversing bridges of rope, swinging from logs high above the ground, and zip lines. Some of these things are up to 21 feet above ground level, but don't worry, it's all perfectly safe thanks to the use of harnesses and the guidance of knowledgeable staff. The course is also self-guided, so you can take your time trying out each obstacle one at a time with no pressure and tons of encouragement. In addition to the activities mentioned earlier you will find a lot more to do in Estes Park for adventure lovers. 
For example you can go to Elkhorn Avenue and Moraine Avenue for a walking tour and shopping. You can go Kent Mountain Adventure Center, McGregor Ranch Museum, Historic Park Theater and Cafe, Fun City, Estes Park Memorial Observatory, Estes Park Outfitters, Rocky Guides, Rocky Mountain Rush Wildside 4x4 Tours, Yellow Wood Guiding, Ennis Mills Cabin Museum, and in a river walk. In winter you can cross-country skiing and snowshoeing. These are not the end, there is much more to do in this city. You can visit the website of the Estes Park to know more. All necessary links are given in the description. Thanks for watching so far. We need your support, please support us by like, comment share and subscribe the channel.